Hi everyone, it's Tom Panos here. I've got with me an amazing young agent. This guy's going to knock you off your feet because really in, I would say, two, two and a half years of true real estate that he's really been in, he's written 700000 for the last 12 months and we're talking with no database to start off with. Hey Marty, how are you? I'm very good, Tom. Okay, for the audience out there, this is Martin Fox from Wilson's. Wilson's. Okay, give us the 60 second version of you to real estate so far. You, you got into real estate and then you left and then you've come back. Yeah, so I finished university, um, came in, did a cadetship for the first year, which was literally 26,000 bucks, no commission, and literally just being a sponge off everyone in the office, learning and absorbing, knowing the processes, the timings and everything. Then once that finished, hit the ground running in sales, did 44 sales for that first year. 44 sales? 44 sales at, at, 20, at 22. Um, average price maybe around, there was a few off the plans in there as well, um, 6 six fifty okay. ish So then what's happened? You, 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 you. So then um, after I did that first year, I saw a few gaps in the marketplace for um, software, but that's another story. So I did software development, started a company, did that for two years, but it made me realise how good real estate was, yeah. running your own race, you know, working your own hours and, and really putting in what you want to get out of it. And then really coming back after that with no database, starting back with a PA from yeah. day one. So you started with a PA from day one. Yeah. You put on a PA and um, tell us. Um, <laughs> because I'm, I'm fairly un cool. I'm fairly unstructured. So you know, I called the, the guys back where I was working and said, look, I, I want to become a director. If I come back and hit certain figures, you know, will the opportunity you know, be made for me? Which I think is really important for young agents out there. See if you can speak to your boss and say, Look, is there an opportunity to become a director? I want to, I want to grow the business and um, set yourself those sort of medium to long-term so so, goals. So just for the audience out there, you are also a third shareholder of the agency. Yeah, so before I came back, I said, look, if I can do X amount, I want to be made a director. And, and try and make that really clear with the people that you work with because if you don't ask, you don't get. And it's a tough question to ask, but you may as well know from day dot. Okay, so takeaway point, if you're a young agent there and you want something to strive for, go in there and say, listen, uh, you know, what are the KPIs I would have to meet to mm. be considered to become a, yeah. a shareholder and director? So I want to talk to you, so you've put on your PAs called Grace. Grace, yeah. Okay. So, and, and look, the benefit of having someone there, again, I think for a male, it's really good to have that female balance. Um, but also, again, because I'm quite unstructured, um, just having somebody there to push you and bounce ideas off and always stay motivated. Okay, so I've, I've, and, and to all our real estate gym members, they're all going to you know, get a copy of, of this, which is more or less as Grace's, uh, um, what her role and what she does. But let's just touch on it. What are the main things Grace does um, for you? It's, it's all about doing all the non-revenue generating tasks. So the things that you, know, you think might take 15 minutes, but they never do, like your final inspections, your valuations, um, writing the copy, putting the photos together, sending it to, to marketing to go live. They're just niggly little things that if you're trying to get something done, yeah. they get in the way. You know, yeah. They're just annoying. So um, a really good thing that she does is uh, auction calls. Yeah. So seeing how many bidders are there, how many people are attending, just giving a full picture. The, the, the few days before auction. Yeah, yeah. so you know, one or two days before auction. Booking appointments for me so we calendar share. Um, what well, you got here, price drive letters and drops. So you've got a, you've got a special letter, have you, a price drive letter? Yeah, a letter who I actually got from Tim Longmore, who right. you interviewed not yeah. too long ago. Yeah. Another really, like, is an absolute legend. Um, she sends out price drive letters that the marketing sell out in the local local area. Okay, if, well we can, can, for our gym members, can we get a copy of a price drive letter? They'd love yep, one, yeah? Yep, not a problem. Beautiful, okay. Just listed, just sold. She, um, does, she does all, she, she, so, so there's a, she, a heap of stuff, but what are you, what are you doing? What's, what do I do? Yeah. I talk to the people and basically if someone's wanting to do a transaction, I'm face to face. So my days are usually all face to face appointments. Always at a cafe, you know, always buy them the coffee, make sure that it's hot so then they stay with you for a while. I always say make it really hot. Extra hot. Extra hot so coffee. So get, get, get coffee for clients and ask for extra hot because it makes the client have, spend more time. Well, you're going to be with them for, you know, 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so you're, you're very <coughs> client, like you would, what, it's appointment after appointment. Yeah, so for me, I'm, I'm basically face to face. So I look at everyone as, you know, it's, it's the plankton and I want to deal with the prawns. So basically, if somebody has a property that they own, they're a prawn. I want to speak to them. I want to try and talk to them about their situation. If they're a buyer that they want to make an offer, I'm on the phone straight away. If there's any curveball questions, I'm on the phone straight away and just trying to tell those types of appointments. And in those appointments, 
again, it's you know talking about family, occupation, recreation, motivation. But my favourites, what's your situation? So I reckon every single day I'll ask that question four or five times. What is your situation? What is? We all know the power of questions. The best agents I know, Marty are the best question askers and I reckon that's a top quality question. So say it again for our audience. Very simple, just what is your situation? And people go, what do you mean? I say, well, what is your situation? Like, you know, do you need to, do you need to sell? Do you need to buy? Where are you coming from? Where are you working? What's your job? Like, try and get in depth and ask some of those tougher questions. And in listing presentations, you know, it goes a long way. What's your situation? Oh, uh, look, in all honesty, I'm getting a divorce. Don't go all weird about it. Maybe you say, what happened, you know? Where are you well, going? So, so say the things that other agents won't say. Yeah, just break it, like get right in there. Sort of stand out and make them think, why is he asking me this? I just talking to you, I get the impression, like you stand out to me. Um, and I think it's an important quality because in a world where there's normally four or five agents fighting for one listing. Correct. Um, being that purple cow, being the person, and I think you said to me off air before, your aim is to be memorable. Always memorable. Know, know, and, and know about random things, you know. Know about plants, know about landscaping, know about, you know, certain finances. Know about situations. Okay, I want to ask you, um, how do you get into more listing presentations? Um, I think by being all things real estate. So if you're going to you know, get into this type of business, you need to live and breathe it. So you're always on. Um, you know, if I go to a cafe and I overhear someone talking about real estate, I'll say, hey, you know, what, are you, what are you doing? The other day I had breakfast with my wife in South Melbourne and there was a guy sitting just around the corner and I literally said, hey mate, what do you do? And he goes, sorry, who are you? And I just said, what do, what do you do? I, I, I see you everywhere and I just, I'm really interested as to what you do. It turns out he's a developer. So now, from that one situation, we're having meetings, talking about plans, just doors open up by just always being on. So, what, so, so, so the learning there is talk to strangers? Talk to strangers. You know, if you, if you feel something, if you get a gut feeling, go for it. It's kind of like the wolf in the forest. Like, the wolf isn't chasing hares constantly, but if he sees one, he knows what to do. He gets down, he stalks, and he goes for it. He doesn't always catch the hare but there's a good chance but that he you're, gets you're, it. you're always hunting? Always hunting, always on the lookout, always alert, always you know, open to the environment, you know, looking around, talking, just knowing. Okay, I want to ask you, you're young and you're newish in real estate and you're working in a marketplace <coughs> up against experienced agents. Mm -hmm. What does Marty Fox do to beat experienced agents? I love going up against experienced agents. I think that they're the easiest ones to beat because you just put a bit of a seed of doubt in the other, you know, in the client's minds. You know, who, who are we actually dealing with? Are you dealing with the PA? Are you dealing with, you know, the, the person that you're talking to in the listing presentation? And it relates back to being hungry. So one of my favourite memories in real estate was my first big listing. I sold the lady a property off the plan. She said that she lived in Elwood. I wasn't a local Elwood agent. And I said, look, can I please come have a look? She said that she'd seen two or three other agents and that she was, you know, pretty good to go. I said, look, I just want to have a look. Let me come over. Went over to the house, did the full listing presentation, and she said, look, you haven't got it, but thanks for coming. Jumped in the car, drove back, called my boss at the time and said, look, uh, Graham, I, I didn't get the listing. He said, chuck a U-turn and go back. I said, what do you mean? Well, I was only 21, 22. I said, I can't go back. Like, she said she's done. And he said, just go back and say that you're hungrier, you'll stand on that door and you'll pitch it better than anybody else. You'll live and breathe that listing and you'll work it. Wow. So I chucked on, it was, I think it was Jay-Z, he brought out that New York song. I had this shitty little $400 car which used to park around the corner for the opens. And I drove back, cranked the song, pumped myself up, knocked on the door and I said, Tamara, I really need your listing because I'll prove that you've made the right de decision. I'm hungrier. I'm more effective, my communication skills are 10 out of 10, and I'll sell your listing, and I'll get you a top, top result. Give, and, give me a good ending, is it? Did oh, you, I got the listing, yeah. Got, got, I got the listing, and, and at that point in time, I, I knew it's not a hard business. Mm. It's simple. You just have to ask that question. Okay, so you um, have just shown there in that, uh, that, that story, that, that, that uh, situation that People love someone 
who wants something badly, like, uh, and you prove whether it was your energy, whether it was your um, approach that said to her, I'm going to do anything to get the business, and you proved that by actually going back. Yeah, because then I think I may have said something along the lines of, you know, this is what I'm like with the buyers. If they, if there's something that they're not happy with about the property, I'll find a way to handle that objection. I will stand here and defend your property better than any other agent. Perfect. You're unstructured. You're, yeah. uh, you, and, and you've said to me, I'm, you know, you said, Tom, I'm letting you know I'm a little bit all over the shop, but everything I do leads to my paramount top year goal. So you've got a year goal. Correct. I've got five year goals, three year goals and 12 month goals. And for me, you know, I'm renowned for being fairly unstructured, but also very effective. If I have a meeting, I tend to you know, have a, a very good strike record with that particular meeting. If it's closing a buyer or whether it's listing a property, I'll try and make sure that it, it gets done. I mean, so typically you're working six days, five days or? Look, I work Saturdays and Sundays. Um, I tend to, like I said, it's a lifestyle. So some days I get in late, some days I get in early. Sometimes I have weekends completely off, but I'm like that with staff as well. Um, you know, Fridays we tend to be casual. The other day I sold a property for you know, $1.9 million wearing a tracksuit, um, which my partners didn't like too much. They thought I looked like I was probably robbing the place. But it's, um, it's all about just having fun with it. Like it's a, my office is a fun office. We've got music cranking. It's, you know, I don't mind if you're unstructured. If you're going to come into work three days a week, but you're going to write $40,000 for the week, yeah. great. doesn't matter. So for me, real estate's not about timing, it's about how effective you are with achieving the goals that you've set for yourself and then moving forward. Okay, so one of the things I always say, gang, and I think uh, Marty's proof to that is uh, be inflexible with the goal, but be flexible with how you get to the goal. Yes, yeah, spot on. Um, so I want to. It's all about that goal. What are some of the marketing tools that separate yourself in the marketplace? Uh, definitely the videos that we that we do. Okay. Um, so I'm going to have um, a, a link of a couple of your your videos. I'll just put the YouTube channel link in there, and you can Beautiful. go for it. So we'll, well, let's talk about those. So, so videos for you are are a big way for you to build your brand. Yeah. So never never in the office, always at the property. They're always different. They're unscripted. So you, you just go down there and, and have, have a bit of fun with it. Really good cinema, cinema photography. Yeah. Um, you know, black and whites, this and that. It's, they're, they're just different. Um, so and, 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 and it helps you as an agent, especially a younger agent, with your presentation skills. Because you do get nervous and you do get lost for words. But if you're wanting to become an auctioneer, if you're you know, going to a listing presentation, these, these potential clients will see these videos because they're all buyers in the marketplace at some point and they go, geez, he's, he's not bad, he presents well. And when the buyers watch the videos as well, if you think of a, a premier listing, they're embedded in the second image, so they get watched. So you're getting a lot of views. You push out on social media, people watch it. It's, the videos are everything, and if you look at YouTube, YouTube's massive. Yeah. People, don't, people don't like static marketing. They want to see, feel, hear. You know? So your videos cost you how much? Um, my videos are done by a very good friend. They cost four hundred dollars, which yeah. I know is a lot cheaper than other agencies. Um, but you know, we design them together. We shoot them in a, in a certain way, and you know, it's just consistent. Okay, let me ask you. You mentioned the word social media, and you've indicated to me that Facebook is a part of uh, Marty Fox's business strategy. Huge. Um, tell us how you use Facebook. What I are the things you do? I don't, I don't have Marty Fox, and then. Martin Fox Wilson Agents. I've just got myself online and like I said, it's, it's a lifestyle. So I'm, I'm all things real estate, renovating, buying, selling, you know, helping other mates buy their properties, getting them into doors. I'm that guy if you, you know, if there's a friend that's at a pub and they're thinking real estate, oh, call Marty Fox. So try and be, be that guy. If I go into a listing presentation like I did two or three months ago, I've added the guy on Facebook. He's then seen a recent holiday that I've taken. He's made a comment. The guy doesn't really know me from a bar of soap, but we got along. Uh, he's then seen another photo that I've, I've added up of a recent renovation. He's asked for the similar tradies to help him. And all of a sudden, we're now mates. And that's what it's all Facebook about. Most of your Facebook posts are done by your mobile phone? No, oh, it's certainly on the mobile. Right. Yeah. OK. Um, and you will add uh, potential, when you go to a listing, you'll add a vendor as a friend. Yeah. Um, you'll do that um, with... Even, even if they haven't signed. Like, you know, if, if, if there's a bit of chemistry, then we get along then I'm searching, I'm adding, because then I'm listing without them even realising it. 
Okay, so gang, check out, um, I'll, we'll have a link to his uh, Facebook page so you can check out what he does there. There's no filter. If I'm drinking beers, I'm drinking beers. If I'm selling a property, I'm selling a property. Like, you can't change who you are. Beautiful. Um, I want to ask you, your number one template, strategy or letter you use to help grow your business? Do you... Yeah, look, for me, it's um, text messaging and, and, and being memorable. So a really good example would be last week. Yeah. I, uh, I did a listing presentation, didn't happen to sign it on the spot, and later that evening I sent through a, a web book. So this is something that I got off Tim Longmore. Yeah. Basically, I, I don't do reports anymore, I do web books, and I emailed it through to him. He texts me back saying, thanks, Steve. So I thought, he's probably seen Steve, who's a, a, another guy in the area. Right. And I said, who's Steve? And he goes, oh, sorry, made a mistake. So then I sent him a YouTube clip of the chipmunk going, Alan, Alan, Alan. Oh no, it's Steve. Steve, Steve. <laughs> so I thought, stuff it, I'll, I'll send him the video. He loved it. Yeah. Anyway, the next day I called him, we had a funny chat, going for a coffee, and I've got the business. So, All right. you know, just joining the dots, well, having, having I, fun I, with I, it. I, I, so let me ask you, you, so you, you walk out of a presentation and you sent a web book. Yeah, so the web book so basically... So what is the web book? Okay, the web book's just a, a, a simple link. They click the link. It's on, on their phone and they can see like a thank you. You're just giving a brief description and it looks great, company branded and so forth. It's something that Lee Wood would put together. So you've, you've created one yourself? Yeah, so we've, we've templated one. We asked for, you know, Noel Jones's, yep. Tim Longmore's company's one. Yeah. Edited it in that web book. It's got an opinion of value letter. Yeah. Um, it's got, you know, a marketing schedule, just a bit of information, but it's, it's all electronic. You know, you're not punching out reports. You can ping it off and you say, look, if you need to send it to any other decision makers, just copy and, and paste it and send it. Okay, well, we're going to, again, we'll, and can we get a copy of a web book? I mean, we, we, we'll get a copy for our, our people and we would urge that. Mm. Um, mate, this is, it's very inspiring talking to you because uh, any, any person here can listen to uh, Marty and know that we don't have to talk about waiting for 10 years to write the sort of numbers, no, you know? No, no. You're, you, I mean, in the last, last three months you've written, what, 250 grand? Yeah, last three months just over 250. Okay, so you're on track for, you reckon, 2015, 16 financial I'll do over yeah, a million. You'll do over a million? Guarantee. Okay, I want to ask you, if you were starting in real estate today, what would be the best piece of advice you'd give yourself? Seriously, just immerse yourself in it. Be memorable. Know, know your stuff. So I think, you know, when, when, you, when you know you flow, you don't have to think too much, you know. Look at PDOL. Look at, look at um, sales results. Know your marketplace and know multiple marketplaces, but just be effective. Don't try too hard. Don't change who you are and have fun with it. You know, ask the questions that people might think are a bit awkward. Awkwardness is good. It pushes them to go to a different you know, a different level. Yeah, you know? yeah. I can't help but sitting here talking to uh, to Martin Fox uh, pretty much reminds me of the book Purple Cow by Seth Godin, where he says that uh, uh, when you play it safe, it's in fact very risky because safe is about being like everyone else, and being like mm. everyone else is a risky strategy. In fact, it's the exact opposite. Um, risky is the new safe. When you're different, when mm. you stand out, when you're that purple cow, you're sort of telling people um, I'm different from the rest of the pack and mate, this strategy is working for you because you're telling me you're going in with decent fees, you're getting high fees. Going in, pitching between now, in the last three months, between two and three percent, asking three percent and you know, how, how do you justify it? You say, well look, I'm more personable, you know, I get along with the buyers, I talk to the buyers, over the phone I can push it five to ten grand at the drop of a hat. Drop of a hat. So what's what's the extra? You know, we'll be here at eight o'clock, you know, showing buyers through if we have to. We'll literally you can call us twenty four seven. Grace, my, my PA, she does full renovations for people. We've probably done eleven this year where we'll get them painted, we'll get them, you know, recarpeted, refurnished. We'll literally, you know, go in go in and do everything. Um, so if you can try and buy and sell a property yourself to know what the sort of feelings that they're going through, be that expert not only on just the selling and marketing but maybe on the reno. Help them out. Mate, I love this. It's not who you know, it's who knows you and I think over the last 20 minutes you've seen an agent talk about becoming uh, 
the CEO of your life and basically becoming the chief marketing officer of your life. He's talked about using video, he's talked about using web books, some of his other tools that we're going to have on there. We're going to get you to um, uh, look at um, the price drive letter, but more importantly, I think what you're basically saying is be yourself, but be your best self. Mm, have some fun. Gold. Thank you so much. Thanks, Tom.